with Tarun Gangwani, head of product at Grok today. Tarun, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. So I just want to hear what the latest is with Grok. I know there are lots of things going on. So before we get to that, though, can you just remind people that might not be familiar with it what Grok is? Sure. So first of all, Grok is a great partner of Nementa's. Um, we've worked with you guys for a little while now, and we're pleased to take the product to market over the past few months and, and bring it in front of the hands of many customers who will appreciate it. So Grok really enables IT operations people who are spending time staring at dashboards, monitoring the health of their environments, and assessing what do they need to care about at this time versus what can they ignore. And that's a really tough problem, actually, because what you end up finding is you chase down rabbit hole after rabbit hole to try and assess, is this something I need to care about? Is this something worth like fighting that fire? And nine times out of ten, it's a false positive. Is, is what's referred to. So when we found this problem and we've partnered with Numenta, we knew the anomaly detection algorithm that Numenta was working on was something that we could leverage. But we realized that there was one other missing component, and that is taking action on things that are going wrong. So when an operations person finds an issue with an environment, there's usually like five to 10 things that they're going to do normally to take advantage of that anomaly event or that event that they believe is worth a problem and actually go investigate it. Well, it turns out a lot of those actions can be automated or can be done by the machine itself. And that reduces human error, that reduces time to resolving the issue, and it helps run things smoothly so a developer can focus on the real problems, which is innovation, right? That's at the end of the day. People are building apps. They don't want to manage their servers. So Grok takes the, the combined effort of anomaly detection and automation and creates a self-healing cloud system, in other words. And another way to interpret it, and this is thanks to the biological inspiration we've received from New and their ideas around how the brain and computers can work together, we believe it's establishing homeostasis in the cloud. And the central idea is like, if you, if you are a runner, right, and uh, if you're an avid runner, your heart rate will only go up about 70, 80 beats per minute. But if you're not a runner like me or a little out of shape, maybe, uh, your heart rate is going to be much higher when you take that run. Both are events worth noting, but they're different contexts to different people. Monitoring platforms don't take advantage of that context and don't take advantage of that insight. They treat every VM as the same. Because we have the anomaly detection platform, we can really assess when some things are out of place because every application runs differently. So we think this insight's really powerful and is going to be hugely beneficial to those operations people. That's great. And from a Numenta perspective, it's really exciting for us to see the technology in a commercial application and to see you take it to market, as you said. So I also understand the, the company's expanding. So can, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, we're really excited to bring on our first uh, marketer on the team, our uh, operations uh, office operations person to help us out with payroll, managing all those processes. And also she has a communications background, so it's going to be great to reach out and get press, PR, and all of that good stuff as well. Um, and then we're bringing on our full stack engineer, uh, so that'll be our first onshore uh, hire. Uh, we're really excited about that. We've been working with a great offshore partner up until this point, and we're going to keep them on board. Um, but we think that onshore development, working alongside those things, will really just move things a lot faster. And by the way, we're still hiring. <laughs> we're, we're still looking for great people. So if you're uh, a developer, uh, particularly a back-end developer, or if you have interest in AI and data science, you know, I'm always willing to take resumes and uh, get uh, feedback and advice from you as well as potentially bring you on uh, as we continue to grow. Great. And we'll share your email on the screen so that you can know how to reach out to Tarun if you're interested. Now, you also just recently won a big award. Um, can you tell us about that? Yeah, we're really excited by uh, the validation we've received from uh, TechCo started up the year 2016. So uh, we first applied out of 1,000 applicants, and we happened to make it as a finalist of the top 50. And so that entailed uh, attending a conference in San Jose. It was called the Innovate Celebrate Conference. Uh, this is the uh, first time that they've run it in San Jose. They traditionally run it in Vegas. So it was really beneficial for us being on the West Coast to be able to just hop on over. So we competed against a lot of great startups. There were so many interesting ideas. Uh, the, the winners ended up actually being a... Uh, they're called Shearshare, <laughs> and uh, a small plug for them because I really like what they're doing. They're like helping uh, barbers and uh, independent contracting hairstylists come together as a platform because barbers often have empty seats, 
And so the idea is let me sell that seat to someone who needs it, you know, on, on a whim. And so it's this idea of solving a really important human problem with great technology. And I think that's part of the reason why we got, we received an honorable mention, which is basically puts us at the top 11 of that top 50. So out of a thousand people, I think that's a pretty good showing. And we're really pleased by, again, that validation. And in fact, we got an invite to a top five accelerator uh, to join their accelerator if we wanted to, at least as a semifinalist. So that was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's and that's what we try to do. You know, we're trying to solve a real problem. That's why I started at the beginning and talking about that operations person. There is always a difference in whatever you do and create in the startup world, a difference between the uh, buyer and the user. And as head of product, my focus is the end user and that operations person or that person managing that machine. How much time can I save for them? And I think people really resonated with that idea. And so we're really happy to have received the award. That's great. Congratulations. So if there is a DevOps person out there that's interested in trying Grok, uh, where do they go? What should they do? Well, grokstream.com, you can find us there. Uh, we also are on Twitter and LinkedIn, and uh, we're putting out a lot of great insights and uh, content for DevOps-oriented uh, individuals who are looking for solving that monitoring headache. You know, uh, we love the tools that are out there uh, today for monitoring operations environments, but we believe our tool can provide that vector, that critical understanding of where to look first and act from there. And so if you're in that situation where you're getting alerts and, and you want to be able to make them more actionable or you just want to reduce the amount of false positives and the alerts you receive, grokstream.com. Uh, it's a 14-day free trial uh, for people. And if you have AWS, um, we actually integrate with CloudWatch, uh, which is most people who run an AWS environment have CloudWatch running and they're storing their data there. We only access that data in a read-only fashion, and all we're trying to do is build the models based off of Numentus technology. Um, we're building models and insights around them and then turning around and saying, should you care about this or not? And so if you're on AWS, it's a really easy thing to do. What's on the horizon for you? What's, what's the vision for the platform? What's next? So next for us, uh, we're really excited to take this and obviously put it in the hands of more operations and uh, monitoring environments, not just in IT, but in a wide variety of industry verticals. We've had companies from the IoT sensor market reach out to us, energy storage companies reach out to us, financial technical services reaching out to us, and all of these areas have a thing in common, which is there is a person managing all of that data and needs help with the signal to noise problem. And that same person is probably the person taking action against that data. And so any problem in this space is where Grok uh, specializes in. Um, in addition to just you know customer growth, uh, on the product side, we're really excited to uh, bring out a connector gallery pretty soon, which means uh, in addition to our connections to uh, ServiceNow, ServiceNow and Datadog, which are two great operations tools, we're announcing more connectors and we're announcing a webhook integration so you can send our uh, anomaly data to any uh, service of your choosing. And that dovetails really nicely with the API that we've released recently and our documentation around that. So if you want to send stuff to us from any platform, not just AWS, you can do so as well. So um, obviously looking for feedback and continued uh, you know, uh, advice from customers or potential uh, uh, clients who are willing to work with us, um, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, if you think that there's an interest or something that we can do with the platform to make it work for your business, uh, absolutely would love to talk. Okay, great. So where are you headed next? Where can people find you? Are there events coming up? Um, where, where can people see you and Grok? Yeah, so we're really excited. Our next event is the Forbes 30 Under 30 conference in October. Uh, as you know, I was I received that award uh, back in, in January of this year. And so that, um, that platform, that venue, that group of organizations that are a part of it is outstanding. And we wanted to be a part of that conversation too with our innovative technology. And so we'll be sponsoring and available at the Ideas Hub, which is a village of startups that are all uh, wanting to show the next generation, the future of you know, technology in the world and how it's gonna impact people. And so we'll be there exhibiting. And so if you're at the event, it's taking place in Boston in, uh, in uh, the middle of October. Or you can find it online for more information. Um, come stop by and, uh, and have a chat with us. Um, and then, of course, we're having the conversation online as well on Twitter and LinkedIn. So That's great. And I know there are some pretty incredible speakers there at that yeah. event as well. Great so, stuff. All right. Well, thank you, Tarun, for joining me today and giving us an update on all things Grok. Mm -hmm.